A few months ago, one of you asked me a really interesting question. Today, I'm going to try to answer it. How big is an AI algorithm? Now, there's a couple different ways to answer this question, but to start, how big do you think an AI algorithm is? Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's start measuring. Wait, that one's just phrenology, never mind. Well, that didn't work. You see, this question seems simple at first glance, but the answer isn't. In fact, when I first saw this question, the first thing that came to my mind was layers. No, not that kind of layers. That kind. As we've discussed in my AI 101 series, when we talk about artificial intelligence algorithms, we're often referring to something called a deep neural network. A basic neural network can have just a few inputs that sum to produce an output. And the main difference between a basic neural network and a deep neural network is the depth, depth of layers. So when we think about how big an AI algorithm is, we might start by thinking about how many layers it has. Depending on the complexity of the problem that you're looking to solve, you might only need a few layers or you might need tens. Additionally, these layers might not stack one on top of another. For example, Inception v3, a deep neural network that can identify objects and images, has a structure that looks like this. As you can see, it has a lot of layers, but they're not all one on top of the other. Some layers have sublayers that perform different functions. But this is only the beginning of how we can think about how big an algorithm is. Another approach that we might take is to look at the size of its weights. If we take another look at that layer structure or architecture of an algorithm, we see that the weights are the things on each layer that help the model figure out what the final decision is. These weights are determined during training based on correlations that are found within the dataset. And when we save models, either for later use or for someone else, we save three things. The model architecture, the weights, and some additional information that helps the computer figure out where the weights go in the model when you put it back together. Now, the model architecture is usually fairly small, think in the realm of megabytes. For comparison, a picture that I take on my iPhone is probably about three megabytes. The weights, on the other hand, can start in the megabytes, but go into the kilobytes or tens or hundreds of kilobytes, depending on how complex your model is. There's a lot of numbers in there. So if you want to think about the size of an AI algorithm in terms of how much space it takes up on your computer, you might start by looking at the weights. Of course, not all AI algorithms are neural networks. If we want to measure another type of algorithm, instead of looking at layers, we might look at the units that make up the algorithm. For example, there's a type of model called a random forest model, where each unit is a tree. You can also use the size of the weights of a non-neural network to measure the size of the model, as training a model will almost always produce a set of values that correspond or are analogous to weights in a neural network. Finally, looking outside of the model itself, we often measure algorithms by how much power they need to run. Some algorithms can run on your cell phone in just a couple minutes, while others need millions of dollars and several months of computational power in order to run. This measure is particularly important for anyone who's trying to recreate a model that someone else has developed, because not having enough computational power can severely limit your ability to develop a model that performs as well as the original. So yeah. That's how big an AI algorithm is. If you like this video, you can let me know by subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all my current patrons. Otherwise, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.